picked the people of small petty stuff like people having a minor amount of marijuana and had the highest conviction rate in San Francisco. How can you have someone like that as president? And she also was also married to the Getty family. John Paul Getty is, is, is that is an elite family in the state of California. So how is it that you're going you're to say, oh, Kamala Harris is better than President Trump? Of course. First, uh, let's respond to a couple of your claims there. How many people did she convict? It's not a clue. 45. And what did she do in 24? 45. You're saying she convicted only 45 people of possession of marijuana. Yes. And what that, that is not true. That, that is not true that she convicted only 45 people of marijuana. And if she was a district attorney, and she had other DAs in the district attorney's office, do, do you mind if I prostituting those small crimes, but she had more than 45 convictions in that office alone. So yeah, we only kind of over, you have, you have a lot of time to talk. I'm here the whole time. I really don't have a lot of time here. But so what I'm saying is, I just, I just want to be able to finish it all without Yes, so yes, so while she was DA, it is a Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, so would you want to like to do my reasons why you're the hair for you guys present? Um if you want. Cool. Um yeah, so uh, there's two main categorical reasons why I say Harris would be better than Trump. The first category is character, the second category is policy. Let's we'll start off with Harris, first of all. Uh, Trump is uh, a sexual abuser, Trump is a felon, Trump is a fraudster, Trump is a collection denier, he's a dictator on day one running fascists. Okay? Uh, Kamala Harris is none of those. Kamala Harris wants to protect and preserve democracy. She wants to fight for the freedoms of all Americans, especially the 170 million American women and girls. And then we can wrap this policy next. If you want to respond to character, go for it. If you want me to hop straight into policy, I can do that too. Well, you know, starting with character, I technically do not think she's a good person. Uh, speaking of which, we're bringing up stuff. She just loved Willie Brown, but her family was just to get her job. Um, and while she was there, she used the firm that was putting people in jail that had a false positive on drug tests. And she knew they had false positives. She admitted to that. And she was still putting mainly black and brown people in jail. So during that moment, that is very much uh, a big issue for me. And also that women sh a woman shouldn't represent, they should just sleep to the top of their job. They should actually work hard for it. I, Generally, don't think that she's a good representative. There's plenty of other women. Yeah, I have a that. question. How many votes did she get in her run for AG? Do you know? No, how many votes did she get in her run for AG? Of course. Well, we'll character and morals. We'll and if we're mentioning character and morals here, she's clearly not a good person. Yeah, I'm and just that's like she, you have mentioned all that stuff about Trump. It could be true. I'm, I'm, I'm referencing her claim that she's I'm I'm referencing her claim that she slept to the top. How many votes did she get when she was running for AG and DA? That has nothing to do with it. I know, she got 4.5 million votes in total. 80 million for her run for AG and DA, and then there was one, and 4.4 million for the other one. I have a question. You're saying that she slept her way to the top. How many of those 4.5 million people that voted for her did she have to sleep with? Well, you know, obviously we're in California, and this is pretty corrupt, but to say that she needed the votes of most, most people that matter, which is person she slept with could actually overturn it. I think folks just like they did with the election. Listen, the, 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 idea, the idea that women have to sleep with men to get in position. And that's power, exactly what she did. That's exactly that's why. Hold on. What, one moment. Can you have to open our life to jobs? That's exactly how she used it. Do you mind if I just finish talking real quick? Also, I would like to finish up this conversation. There's a lot of red flags in there. So saying that women have to sleep with men to get into positions of power is a misogynistic lie. What I you're doing that. She just one moment. One moment. She represents. What you're doing, what doing, what you are doing is you're taking Kamala Harris, you are taking her character, you are taking her public policy, you are taking her intelligence, you are taking her, her wisdom, and you're throwing it out of the window. Because when you say that the only thing that she's in her 